get ready. So hiya folks, uh, so continuing on in my series of uh, lockdown videos where we can't get out and about on the bikes at the moment due to the lockdown here, here in Ireland, uh, I just wanted to go through some of the stuff that I use uh, in terms of travel accessories. So these are, these are things that I find useful on my trips uh, that aren't specifically related to the bike or to the gear that I wear. These are the other things that I would use uh, as part of uh, touring and traveling that I just find personally uh, very useful on the trip trip um, so without that I'll, I'll get into these items now so one of the first things that I have uh, and this probably could have been done in the uh, the, the the other videos for uh, travel equipment or sorry bike equipment uh, but I forgot to do it the, these are the bags that I've recently bought to go with the new um, Tour de Tech panniers that I got, the, the, the Zega Evos they're called. So these are the Evo specific bags. They're made by Tour de Tech. As you can see, they still got the tags on them. So I haven't, haven't even got the chance to use them yet because of this lockdown. Um, uh, but the reason I bought these is that uh, obviously, you know, they're Tour de Tech. They're specific for the panniers that I got for the bike. So uh, they fit perfectly into these panniers. Uh, so because of that, you know that once you've packed them, uh, that you're not going to have an issue in terms of getting in, them into the bike. Uh, often, you know, when you're using uh, bags that aren't specific to the, to the panniers, you'll probably overpack them and then you'll have some job trying to squeeze them into the boxes. Uh, I, I've done it myself numerous times. Uh, but with these, once they're full, you know, uh, obviously don't overpack them and bulge them out. But once they're, you, you don't overfill them and they're full, they should just slide straight into the uh, to the panniers. The other good thing that I like about these bags is that they have a, a, a double opening um, point on them. So depending on what way you, you need to access them. So obviously when you want to access the bag for packing, it lays on its side and you can open it up like this. And uh, you can just pack straight into this and you're good to go. Uh, but then obviously there's going to be times when you're on the road and you may need to access something that's in the bag. And they've even thought of that where they have this uh, top opening uh, pocket here that allows you access from the top when the bag is sitting within the pannier. Uh, so that's really useful. Uh, the one thing I would say about them is that uh, I was surprised that they, they aren't waterproof. They're just made of Cordura. Um, but they are somewhat water resistant, very durable, but they're more of a dust liner and a, and a, and a you know, a liner for the bags or the panniers. Uh, they wouldn't be waterproof. So if your pannier is anyway leaking, you'd probably still need some sort of a dry bag or some sort of a liner in, in these. Um, but other than that, they're really good. They're quite inexpensive. I think I paid about 50 euros or something for these bags. Uh, but I'm looking forward, obviously, that for this lockdown to end and uh, hopefully getting back onto uh, the touring trips, get out onto the road and start using these. So, uh, so yeah, really good little item. So continuing with the bag theme, uh, a rather inexpensive bag that I bought was this big yoke here. Uh, again, it's a, it's a Cordura liner, but this is really cheap. I bought this, I think, on eBay uh, for about 10 or 15 euros. I think this is a 100 liter. And the reason I bought this is if, if, you, if you're ever using a, a service, something like Overlanders, and that's exactly what I bought. This still has my, my Overlanders tag on it. Um, the, what you'll often find is that you'll have to pack your biker gear and uh, attach it onto the motorbike for when it's been transported from uh, Dublin, Ireland over to wherever the depot is that they're delivering it to. So most of the time I've used it for going from Dublin into Memmingen in Germany and from there you can head on up into the Alps. It's a really good service. But what I do is I get all my biker gear and my wife's biker gear, helmets, boots, everything and it all goes into this bag and it all fits, you know, without a problem. And then this bag then gets strapped 
onto the bike with bungees. Uh, so it just keeps everything together and make sure that nothing falls off. It's very inexpensive, you know, put a bin liner over it in case, you know, the bikes are out uh, in, in the rain or something uh, when they're getting loaded. Uh, but it's a really little handy bag to have. And for the price, like I said, I think I paid 15 euros for it on eBay, you know, well worth having, you know, a handy little thing to have. But I find it very, very useful. So another little bag item that I use uh, then, this is a like a mesh bag uh, and it's very handy for, you know, when you're traveling on, on the road, uh, just for separating, you know, your used clothes from your clean clothes uh, or anything like that. You, you can even use it as a wash bag or something like that. So basically when I'm on the road, you know, using those Touratech panniers, as you've seen, I can separate anything that I've already worn that needs to be washed. I put them into this little breathable uh, mesh bag and put it away and then when I get to a place where I, I, I can wash those clothes, anything that needs washing, I know I can just pull this out and everything I need is in there. I generally try and get them in a, in a different colour, something that's easy to spot within the bag that you can just reach in, grab it and away, you can hand it down to the hotel, laundry, whatever and away you go. It's just a good, simple, quick way of separating everything so you're not having to rummage through and figure out what it is you have and haven't worn when you're on the road. So pretty straightforward. Another little thing that I like to have is uh, one of these see-through uh, wash bags. Uh, this isn't just handy for when you're on the motorbike. It's very handy if you're like me uh, and you travel a lot for work, you know, going through airports and everything. Uh, I know it can be an awful pain to take out all your, you know, your liquids and, and, and gels and stuff like that. So I generally put all my wash gear, my, my aftershave and lotions and all that fun stuff into one of these. And... Uh, it just makes it very quick then for going through airports and everything. It's also very handy then just to keep it then for when you're on the road, on the motorbike. Uh, you can just get it, throw it out onto the, uh, into the bathroom and, you know, good to go. You know, simple little thing. Again, Wish, uh, the little Wish app, I don't know if you know it, but it's a, it's a very handy little app. That's where I get a lot of these little things, you know, really cheap and inexpensive. Might take half a year to get there, but uh, very handy. I think it's a euro or something like that for those, but handy little item. Another bag that I use then is these uh, dry bags. Uh, again, you can get these on, on Wish for you know a few quid, pretty inexpensive. Come in varying different sizes. Uh, what I would say is, you know, um, if you if you want something that needs to be you know 100% waterproof, I wouldn't buy it on Wish or one of those cheap websites. Uh, I use this. Uh, this is one I would have bought on Wish. It's fine for a liner if you're putting something into your back box or something like that, and you just want to keep dust and dirt off it absolutely fine but if any kind of water got into it it just wouldn't uh, it wouldn't cut it so if you want something that's absolutely uh waterproof you need to buy the proper brand names something like an orty leb or a tour tech do them as well and um, but they're very handy you know if, like for camera bags and stuff like that i'll drop my camera bag into one of these and uh, it just keeps it dry in case you know your 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 uh, back box has to open during the rain or something like that it just keeps a bit of weather off it uh, again they don't take up any space uh, they pack down flat really little handy bag you can also use them you know if you wanted to put your shoes into them uh, just a handy little thing to have when you're on the road very cheap as well So if you're like me and you're, you're carrying an awful lot of equipment when you're traveling, like laptops and telephones and uh, computers, uh, cameras, any of that stuff, you're going to have a lot of cables. Uh, and I found that, you know, the amount of cables for the amount of items, particularly for the vlogging and the camera equipment, was starting to get a bit out of hand. So again, using my friend on Wish, uh, I, I bought one of these little uh, cable bags. Uh, it's a very handy little item uh, like that just takes all your cables in here uh, any equipment uh, adapters power banks cables you know 
the lights and the cameras, anything like that. There's a secondary pocket here on the bottom uh, for the larger items. So again, in here you can see I have my external hard drives, uh, more cables, chargers and stuff like that. So it's just a really handy, uh, neat way of keeping everything together in one place and, and a bit more organized than just throwing them into, uh, into your travel bag. Uh, and it's all in one place you can just pull it out and you've got all all you need to go through for your electronics in one place again really cheap not waterproof so you, i would put this into something like that dry bag that we looked at earlier like like this this little dust bag put that into there that goes into the back box and then you're good to go um but again on these on wish they're only about 10 euros but you'll get them on ebay or anywhere like that you know very handy little item to have So another little item that I have, uh, obviously with all the, the photographic equipment and the, uh, the the drone that I have with me, uh, what I generally do at the end of the day when I get to my, my destination in the hotel after I've had my dinner is I'll sit down with the computer and then I'll start uh, clearing all the SD cards that I've, uh, I've used for the day on my GoPro or my, my uh, drone or whatever else I'm using. So it's imperative for me to have a hard drive. So like I, I keep them, they come with a little box. Uh, any hard drive will do you know uh, try and get a solid state one I'd, I'd highly recommend this um wd my passport ultra i think it's four gigabytes on it but it's excellent really really good uh, and then it allows me to store all the videos uh, upload them there clear the sd cards and then when i can get home uh, i can then take them down and start editing from there uh, really really handy item to have One more small little item I like to carry is a little uh, Bluetooth wireless speaker. Uh, you know, I think I paid about 30 or 40 euros for this one. Really, really small. Fits into the uh, to the blue cable bag that uh, we just went through earlier. This one's really powerful. I can't remember. It's an X Mini is is the brand for this one. It's called. Uh, this is I've had this a couple of years, so there's probably a newer version of it out now. Uh, but when you connect this via Bluetooth to your phone, the power and the sound out of it is incredible for such a small little thing. Just charge it up and, uh, you know, when you're getting ready to go out, you know, just pump your music out through this. It's really, really good little uh, gizmo to have. So another little item that I I find very useful, again, another item that I bought off the, the Wish app. It's only about a euro or two for a few of them, but they're very handy. A friend of mine put me onto these again. As I said, uh, if, you're, if you're like me and you travel a lot for work, particularly abroad uh, to the US or anywhere else, this is a brilliant little device. Uh, particularly when you're on the bike, as I've mentioned in other videos, and you're trying to save space. Space is always a premium when you're traveling on a motorbike. Uh, so to try and just cut the corners here and there uh, these little atomizers brilliant and um, with these yokes you know you can take your your aftershave bottles like this and uh, there's a little valve on the bottom and it just pumps into that and then you have enough aftershave in there to do you for maybe you know a week or two and um, the the brilliant thing about this is it's only like about 50 milliliters on it so if you're traveling through an airport you're not breaking the uh, the limit that you can take through it means you don't have to carry this big full bottle with you for the sake of a one week trip. You could even take two of these and it would still be smaller than the bottle. Uh, but what I do is I just, I fill one of these up uh, before I go on a trip, throw it into my wash bag, good to go. It just takes up so much uh, less space in the bag uh, for when you're, when you're trying to cram as much into a motorbike as possible. Handy little thing. Like I said, you get them on wish. What I would suggest is buy three or four or five of them, uh, when, when you get them, sometimes the quality on them isn't great. Sometimes the little pump action thing on it doesn't work. So just get a few backups. Or if you know if you if you use two or three different brands of, of aftershave or whatever, uh, you know you can bring two or three of them and have a, a range of them to go. Uh, be sure it's the one that you get with the valve on it. Some of them don't have this valve, and you have to pour into them. And obviously, a, 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 an aftershave bottle like this, you won't be able to do that. So make sure you get the one with the valve on it. Uh, but a really inexpensive little item, you know. Just another little tip.
So again, if you're, if you're like me and you travel with an awful lot of gizmos and gadgets and cameras and phones and, you know, uh, drones and all of that type of stuff, uh, the one thing you'll find then at the end of the day is before you head out is you have to put everything on charge again for, for the night. Uh, so the one thing that I found now is, is this multi USB charger. Uh, now I was very lucky. I got this one for, I think it was 10 euros in, in Duns at around Christmas a year or two ago. Uh, and uh, to be honest with you, it's been it's been brilliant. Uh, you can charge, I think, one, two, three, four, five. There's six USB ports on this, so you can have up to six items charging all at one time. Uh, you know, when you get to hotels, you'll often find that there's maybe only one or two plugs available. So this plugs into the one plug that's available. Then you can have up to six devices all charging overnight uh, for the next day really handy little item the beauty about this one is this little uh, thing at the top here you just touch that and this whole thing lights up so it's it's a bedside lamp as well very handy for when you're on the move you know if you're staying in a and b or something like that you have a little lamp to go with you as well as charging all your gear Um again as i said 10 euros doesn't have to be this one get any there's loads of them again on wish or ebay or anything like that uh, but it's a really handy little item to have So keeping the theme going on, on bags and protection uh, for equipment that you're carrying. Uh, another item that I carry obviously is a laptop. I bring a laptop with me on all my trips. That allows me to upload all the videos and photographs that I've taken and start editing uh, them uh, when I'm on the move. It also allows me then to connect uh, to my GPS routes that I've done for the trip that I'm on. And if I find that I'm either too far ahead or too far behind on the trip that I'm on, I'm able to edit it on 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 the road uh, in the evenings, change it for the next day, and then upload it to the to the, the device. It also allows me then, obviously, then to to update devices on the go. Uh, if you are watching my Scotland videos, you may have seen that uh, my my drone literally stopped working because it required updates, and I, it was out of action for a whole day. And um, by having my laptop with me, it meant that that evening I was able to update all of the software uh, and have the drone back in action for the next day. Uh, but obviously carrying a laptop can be a bit cumbersome. Uh, obviously it's a, it's an expensive and fragile piece of equipment. Uh, so I didn't feel an ordinary laptop bag would cut it. So I went out and I got this, uh, it's called a Peli case. Um, you'll see it, it's, it's called Peli. Uh, and I've plastered it with stickers on it from, from trips that I've done. Uh, but this is a really robust uh, item. This is what the uh, basically a lot of the, the military, I know the US military use these for, for transporting their, their equipment. Uh, you can see if I open it up here, uh, it's fully lined uh, protection. The laptop literally slots in here perfectly. It stops it moving around um, and it has all this cushioning inside it. It's 100% waterproof totally dust proof shock proof so even if i drop the laptop uh while it's in this box it should be fine um i think for this box which takes my uh 15 inch uh surface book two uh, i think this lap this box was about 100 110 euros so it's i mean it's not too expensive for what you're getting uh if you've got an expensive laptop this will be well worth the money in investing in if you're traveling um but uh, I wouldn't be without this, you know, a uh, very good box. So another little item that I like to, uh, to bring with me, uh, again, going back to the theme of trying to keep uh, space down uh, as much as possible, uh, being, space being a premium when you're traveling on a motorbike, if you're like me and you have to wear glasses, uh, and sometimes, you know, obviously glasses can be quite fragile, they're expensive, and they can be cumbersome to, to bring around with you when you're, when you're traveling. So I found these little things. These are called uh, news, uh, N-O-O-Z, uh, and they're a really handy little thing. They're really durable. You know, you can give them a good old bash, uh, you know, no problem. The case itself is really slim, takes up no space. There's a hole here, you can put it onto your key ring if you want. Uh, you'll find, I, I also put, uh, you'll see on my, excuse me, on my case, I put another little 
news case here and I can keep a set of glasses in there. Uh, and the glasses themselves are, are very, uh, almost indestructible. Uh, small little nose job clips on the nose. I know you look like a granddad when you're wearing them, uh, but it's only for, you know, reading menus and stuff like that when you're, when you're on the move. Um, but they're very, very handy. Uh, they, they just slide into the case and once they're in the case, you know, really, really indestructible, you know. So I, you can buy these. I think they do them for, I think, two or three on a deal. You can get them. Uh, and you can get them to your prescription as well. So they're, they're really, really handy little things to get. Very inexpensive. You know, I won't go without them now. They're just really, really good. Okay. So another little bag that I, I tend to bring with me is uh, is this little uh, knapsack. Uh, this one in particular is Nike, but they come in all different brands. You go into any of the sports shops and you'll see these in, in various different brands hanging up. But what I like about this bag is that what I generally use this for is I use it as, as for carrying my shoes. So I can put my shoes in there uh, and then my shoes can go into my luggage bag and it keeps them away from dirtying any of the clothes within there. And then... When you get to your destination and obviously you're wearing your shoes, this bag then can turn into a very handy little backpack uh, that you can use if you have to go hiking when you're away on your trip or shopping or whatever. Um, and because it's so uh, flat, you can see it's totally flat, um, it doesn't take up any space, literally no space, no weight uh, in it. It has a little side pocket as well to keep your wallet or, or keys or, or phone or whatever you want in it. The little backpack straps. Uh, and then it tightens up here uh, to close it and it's just really really handy little bag you know um waterproof at the bottom it's not now it's not a waterproof bag but uh, i find these really handy and again they're only 10 euros in any of the sports shops you know um but i won't go anywhere without this because you know as i said when space is a premium i like the idea of something having more than one use so using this as your shoe bag uh, and then it doubling up then as your 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 knapsack or backpack when you're when you're at your destination uh, it's just a really handy little item to have uh, so like i said watch out for them in the sports shops 10 euros so a few things that i also like to bring with me are some of the tools for the bike um for when i'm touring now i'm not mechanically minded in any way i might as well be looking into a black hole when uh, looking at uh, the engine of the bike or anything like that but there are some things to consider particularly if you're on a long uh, touring trip things like um, punctures flat batteries uh, and, and small little minor repairs uh, when you're on the road so i try to bring the minimum of what i need to to, to get me across uh, most people, I think, with their insurance, get the uh, recovery and breakdown service. So there's no need to be bringing, you know, huge amounts of tools, which, uh, etc. You know, as long as you've got that service, uh, in most instances, you can uh, you can get out of the, the hole if you're stuck. Uh, there's the, some things that I absolutely do uh, bring all the time. And I'll just go through those things now. I won't go into huge detail on each of them individually, just to touch base on them very quickly, just so you can see what type of kit it is that I bring with me. Uh, number one obviously is uh, a tire plugger kit I use this one here it's called the uh, the stop and go tire plugger and um, I've seen uh, some of the guys in the club using these and they're absolutely phenomenal uh, it comes with this like a gun <clears throat> uh, and you basically push a hole through it using the gun and then this shoots a, a little plug into the uh, into the hole when you found it on the tire uh, it's really good absolutely bomb proof in terms of you know repairing uh, it's it's exceptionally good and quick when you're on the move it does take up a little bit of space there is a version of this that doesn't come with this uh, gun makes it a little bit smaller but i i like this version uh, and that's what i i bought the uh, the tour to tech toolbox for uh, i keep uh, this in, in that so it's kind of not taking up too much space in my general panniers uh, but that's a really handy little tool another item then obviously then when you fix the repair is to have a, a compressor a little air compressor uh, this obviously plugs into the uh, 
cigarette charger on your uh, dash of the motorbike and then you press the button and then it'll reinflate the tire uh, another option for that is uh, you can get these little uh, co2 canisters these are 16 grams uh, you get a little valve onto that and then you just uh, you plug this into the valve and then you plug the valve, valve onto the valve on the wheel and then you hit the release and then this will instantly reinflate the tire for you uh, and you're, you're, you're good to go. Uh, so they're really handy. The only problem with these is there can be restrictions in these if you're bringing them with you on an aircraft. You know, obviously they're, they're quite combustible uh, and, and the fact that they are combustible, you don't want to have them banging around too much. Um, and the other thing is when you use them, you have to have a little grip for them because when they expel the CO2, they go unbelievably cold. It can literally burn the fingers off you with, with, with the coldness of them. Uh, so that's why I try and carry these. These are a bit slower, obviously, uh, but uh, they're very handy. And this one here is, is quite neat. I think Tour de Tech do an even smaller one than this again, but this is the AA one. Only 10 or 15 quid or something like that. Handy little thing to have. Always have that on the bike. Uh, obviously then, I always carry a, a toolkit. Uh, again, something like this is usually fine. I wouldn't know what I was looking at, so there's no point in bringing a huge amount of tools. So it's primarily, you know, Allen keys, um, you know, pliers and, and screwdrivers uh, and, and uh, nut um, keys to just tighten things up. Like, you know, if you need to move your mirrors or anything like that or anything to do with the fairing or, or frames or anything like that. Uh, again, I think I got this in Halfords, 20 quid or something like that. Uh, always handy to ha have that when you're on the road. Uh, and then another thing then that I always carry uh, is these um jump starters uh these jump leads for motorbikes so this one again i bought these in halfords 10 or 15 euros these are motorbike specific and the good thing about motorbike specific one is the cable and the clips the bull clips on it are much smaller than standard um uh, jump leads that you would use for a car which is ideal because obviously a motorbike the battery itself is only less than half the size of a car battery it's always in a tight space um, and then these leads carry the, the the current a little bit better than the heavy ones uh, used for a car uh, and because they're so much smaller they're much neater to pack away you can see it's very slim just stow them at the bottom of your panniers or your top box or somewhere like that and forget about them uh, i know you might think why would you carry something like that on a modern bike but it's so easy i did it myself uh, on the last trip to the yabs where the bike traveled off a week ahead of me with overlanders when i got to the depot to pick up the bike somehow I'm not saying who somebody left the ignition on in uh, in the depot and the the battery was you know dead as a duck when I got there uh, and but for the fact that I had these I was able to jump start them off a, a chap that was uh, there very kind of him a Spanish chap that was also on a touring trip let me jump start my bike off his using the jump leads if I hadn't had these that was it I, I, I was supposed to be in a hotel that evening I wouldn't have got there I would have had to call for a, a rescue van you know nightmare situation so these are just something buy them stick them in your panniers and just forget about them and you'll be surprised you know that you know the situation you might find yourself in that these will come in in handy you know really good handy thing to have uh, another thing then that i always carry with me is the small these little miniature cans of wd-40 again you never know when these things are going to come in handy uh, and if i was on the, the blackbird because the uh, the bmw is shaft driven if i was on a chain driven bike I would also bring a miniature can of chain lube as well. So that would definitely be indispensable to, to bring with you. Um, so those are just some of the tools that I would, pretty much all the tools, I, I wouldn't need anything else other than that. Uh, but I always ge generally carry these items on me when I'm going on long touring trips. So another few little bits and bobs that I like to carry with me when I'm on the road. Uh, I'll usually put these in the the, uh, the tank bag, stick them into one or two of the pockets, and you know forget about them until I need them. Uh, but things like small little things like these cheap and uh, cheerful things, you'll pick them up at the counter in any motorbike shop. Uh, you know this is uh, anti fog spray. So on those wet muggy mornings and the inside of your helmet maybe uh, fogging up, just spray this on the inside and and, and clean it up with a bit of uh, cloth. And it just stops you, uh, the inside of your visor fogging up on those wet days. Uh, obviously, with the modern helmets, the pinlock device uh, has hugely helped in that area. But there are still some occasions, depending on the weather, that you get some fogging on the inside of your helmet. And this definitely helps 
uh, just take that out of it you know handy little thing to have uh, obviously then keeping your visors clean is, is very important and um, so I get one of these things again only you know four or five euros on the counter of any motorbike shop uh, you turn on and off the tap here as a little sponge get that off uh, here to wipe down the visor gets right up into the corners and it's it's filled with a, a cleaning fluid here that's a really good little item um, the one thing I would say is that you do need to have some sort of a, a cloth or a, or a tissue or something to wipe off any excess cleaning fluid that goes onto the visors uh, but this is a really good heavy duty cleaner to get any crap off the, the bike uh, sorry the visor off the helmet um, I also have another smaller kit which is this one here which is made by the, the, the Muck Off crowd Muck Off M-U-C-O-F-F -F. Um, and again it's just a very similar uh, item just as this comes with a spray you spray it on and then it has like a chamois that cleans it off uh, so to be honest with you I mainly bought this for the chamois because I think this is a better cleaner so I use this to clean it and then I use the chamois off this and then I'm just keeping this fluid as a backup then uh, and it keeps it all nice and tidy in this little neat bag uh, so that's a really handy little item to have uh, and then one thing as well that I always just stick into the uh, panniers uh, and forget about it it takes up no space is uh, a little puck these little plastic pucks uh, I think I got this from from bike world many moons ago and a freebie um, but they're handy little things to have particularly if you're going camping or somewhere like that or you might be going off road uh, keep it in your tank bag or your pannier and if you're on a dirt road or a, a gravel track or you end up camping in a field or something like that and the ground is in any way soft and you have to put the side stand down you know one of these is invaluable because otherwise you know the bike will just the stand will just dig into the ground and the bike will just tip over so uh, a puck is very handy to have again it's something you can just stick into the bag forget about it until you need it you know it's very handy so one more item that uh, I've just recently bought um, if you're like me when you're touring a lot uh, you'll often find yourself in situations where you, you, you stop in a town or a, you know a site a local site and you want to go off and explore a little bit uh, and it can be an awful hassle to carry uh, the helmet and your gear and stuff like that in, in, in your hands as you're walking around towns and cities um, so this is just a little um, helmet lock that I got uh, it's a combination lock uh, around here is kind of it's it's got this cushioning effect around the side so it doesn't scratch the helmet or the bike it has a cable on it as well uh, and uh, this little t-bar that goes through the chin strap of your 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 helmet uh, so you know that just allows you then to to, to lock the bike to the helmet uh, sorry not the bike to the helmet the helmet to the bike um, and then leave your hands free to walk around you know uh, depending on where I was I may or may not use this you know depending on how dodgy the town is that I'm in uh, but it's just another little handy thing to have uh, I wouldn't even put this in the tank bag I'd, I'd probably hook it onto the outside of the tank bag uh, so it doesn't take up any interior space uh, but uh, I'll see if I use it like I said I've just bought it I haven't had a chance to use it uh, I'll see how I get on with it over the next few months as soon as this uh, this lockdown is over but uh, yeah use a little thing oh, I think it was only about 20 quid uh, bought it online and um, see how it goes yeah, so, so that's everything I have for for uh, this edition uh, like I said those are just some of the items that I find that I, I find useful when I'm touring and on the, the motorbike trips I'm sure I've forgotten something uh, but if you have any questions on any of these things, you know, you know, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I hope you are all keeping safe on this lockdown. Uh, I know I'm chomping at the bit to get out on the bike. Like I said, recently just bought the new BMW 1250 liquid cooled adventure and it's sitting in the shed just, you know, staring at me. <laughs> it's, it's depressing. Um, and we've had some unbelievable weather, uh, since the lockdown started. Uh, it's crying out to be, to be going out on the motorbikes in this weather. Uh, so it's it's just terrible to be missing it um, but I suppose the it's first world problems I suppose the, the most important thing is to uh, stay safe and look after each other and make sure that we're not making the situation worse for people by spreading this virus uh, and hopefully it'll all be over soon and we can get back to, to getting onto the road and touring you know I, I know I'm already you know planning trips and planning routes and everything to, to go on as soon as this is over I'm looking forward to getting out to places like Dingle and to Scotland and to uh, Donegal and 
you know, over to Italy and to Spain and everything again once things open up. So hopefully we'll be back to uh, to business as usual soon. Um, I'll be posting videos as often as I can. As I said, I'm making videos uh, to do with the gear and accessories and all of that while we're on this lockdown. Uh, I might as well make use of the time while I'm home instead of being out on the road. Um, so so keep watching and uh, please like and subscribe, you know, and, uh, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. So take care.